little fox. Gulliver's Travels, Chapter Six: Lilliput in Danger. There are two political groups in Lilliput," began Reldrasil. "The high heels and the low heels. The groups are named after the style of shoes their members wear. Once the high heels were the most popular group," Reldrasil went on. "Our king and his officials, however, are low heels." "Do the two groups get along?" I asked. "Oh no, the two groups hate each other," said Reldrasil. The king is afraid that the high heels may try to take his power. And could they? Perhaps. We think that there are more high heels than low heels in Lilliput," said Reldrasil. "What's worse, the king is very upset with his son, the prince of Lilliput. The prince wears one shoe with a high heel; his other shoe has a low heel. That's why the prince moves up and down as he walks." The king also has enemies in other places," Raldrasil continued. "Lilliput and a nearby island, Blefuscu, have been at war for three years. That island to the east." Raldrasil nodded. "How did this war start?" I asked. "The war began over how people cut open boiled eggs," Raldrasil explained. "I beg your pardon. I thought that I had misunderstood his words." I was still learning Lilliputian. Boiled eggs, he repeated. People in Lilliput like to eat boiled eggs. An egg has a big end and a small pointed end. Almost everyone in Lilliput used to cut open their boiled eggs at the big end. The problem started when our king's grandfather was a little boy. He was then the prince of Lilliput, and his father was the king. One day, the prince cut open his egg at the big end. He got careless and cut his finger. The king got very angry because the prince was hurt. That day, the king made a new law. From then on, everyone in Lilliput had to cut open their boiled eggs at the small end. Small enders are people who obey the law. Big enders refuse to obey the law. I suppose I said that these two groups also hate each other. Correct. Over the years, they have had many fights," said Raldrasil. "Our current king is a small ender. Some big enders have gone to live in Blefuscu. The king of Blefuscu would like to take over Lilliput, and the big enders support him. We have heard rumors that the Blefuscan king plans to attack Lilliput with many ships. Can you find a way to help us, Raldrasil?" I said. "I'm sure I can." He told me that more than fifty ships were in the harbor at Blefuscu. Only about a kilometer of sea separates the two islands. The water between them is quite shallow. For the next few days, I kept away from the shore of Lilliput, that is opposite Blefuscu. I did not want the Blefuscans to see me. I had figured out a plan for helping the king of Lilliput, but if the Blefuscans knew about me. My plan would fail. A few days later, I spoke to the king. I have a secret plan, I said, to steal many of the Blefuscan ships. Then your enemies will not be able to invade Lilliput. I would appreciate your help, enormous one, replied the king. After I explained my plan, he said, "Tell me what you need to make your plan work." Have your workmen make fifty very large metal hooks," I told him. "I need lots of strong rope as well." "Those things will be ready in two days," promised the king. The look on his face was very serious.